Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for DNNHere.com and in this video I'll be talking about another video that I have done a couple of days ago uh, about how to change the layout of the events module video number 93. So in that video I got a little bit frustrated towards the end because I've tried to copy the an existing template to use that as the basis of my of my new template for the events module layout but it was not working fine. So a couple of days ago I have received an email from Jerry Montgomery uh, showing me how to solve the problem, how to how to make that work. So what comes next now is all based on Jerry uh, Jerry's feedback. So thank you very much Jerry for, for the emails that you sent me explaining how to how to fix that. So here's what we have now. We have uh, a test site with the events module uh, put in place it's using the minimal extropy theme as uh, we can see under the action menu going to settings and under settings scroll down and you can see that it's using a standard theme called uh, minimal extropy so what we have I have tried to do last time was let me switch this to just to test uh, to the events orange let me update and now I can see the 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 orange theme here now what I was trying to do is Okay, so I have the orange theme here. I'm gonna copy the orange theme, uh, the orange theme, and I'm gonna use that as the base of my new template, and then I'll make change to it. So next thing that we have to do is we have to go to the file system, uh, either via FTP if your site is remote, or via uh, Windows Explorer if uh, you are running localhost like I am right now. So if I open Windows Explorer. I'm going to the uh, to INET pub and to the www root and then here's my site dnn 544 and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the desktop modules to the events module and to the themes folder so here's the events orange theme what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy this folder which has basically a CSS side I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna paste that now under the, I'm gonna go back to the root folder, go to the portals folder, go to uh, my portal folder, which is port number zero, and then go to the DNN events folder, and then go to the themes folder and paste it there. So it's asking for permission, I'm gonna give that. So the events uh, orange is here. Uh, now I don't want to keep the same name as it was there uh, being called Events Orange. I want to call this as a uh, new theme. So I have to change uh, Events Orange by new theme in three places. The first one is the folder name, which I'm going to call it new theme. Just ask me for uh, permissions, that's fine. I'm going to open the new theme folder. I'm going to rename or eventsorange.css by new theme.css. And, and then the last, uh, the, the third and last place that I have to do a, a replacement is where I have missed in my last video that Jerry has uh, brought to my attention. I have to open the, the, the CSS and I have to replace uh, that, uh, that name Events Orange by new theme inside of it as well. So let me open this uh, CSS. I'm gonna copy this address here. I'm gonna open a text editor, and then I'm gonna open new theme.css. So here we have some references, as you can see, to the events orange as well. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just do a a a, a replace in this file. Whenever it sees events dash orange, it will replace by uh, new theme. So find what find events orange replaced by new theme replace all all replace as you can see now I'm going to save this so it's saved what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go back to the site and I'm gonna go to the settings of, of the uh, events module and then I'm gonna select the custom theme called new theme but again, remember that this is this was a copy of Events Orange. So when I apply new theme, what I expect to see is exactly what I saw before with the Events Orange theme. 
it's all orange based. So custom theme, new theme, click update. So uh, as you can see, we have it working. We have the orange theme here, which was we have the new theme applied, which was a copy of the orange theme. Now, to prove that this is really a new theme, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the CSS for the new theme again, and I'm going to do some small changes to it so we can save it and see right away that the the layout of the events module will get changed. So I'll, I'll do two small changes. One is I'm going to centralize those numbers. Instead of being... Uh, left aligned, they will be uh, centered aligned, and I'm going to change the background color from this uh, dark orange to a, to a gray. Again, just to, to show that uh, we, have, we have created a, a copy of the theme, and now we can change it to customize and do and apply whatever styles we want to apply. So I'm going to open the, the style sheet again, new theme.css, and I'm just going to go to this entry in the CSS, I'm going to make a small change. One is text align instead of left. I'm going to put it center. And two is background color. I'm going to set this to a, a, a gray color. So DD, DD, DD. And I'm going to save this. And I'm going to refresh the page. So here's what I see. Now the background is, is a gray color. And the, the, the days are now centered aligned. So Again, basically, this is how you, you're going to go about creating your own theme uh, using as, a, as the basis one of the existing themes from the events module. And again, this is more really geared towards someone that knows what they are doing in terms of CSS. But again, this is basically how, how you're going to go about customizing the look and feel of the events module. Thank you very much. Bye for now. And thank you very much, Jerry.